Blinded, I felt my way forward until I reached the deepest fibers of my blood and, enclosed on every side by these fibers, I could no longer go back. There, where I dwell, I now live and feed on what blood feeds on and I become drunk with that which blood drinks. My blood has little legs and tickles in my veins. My blood has wings and flaps in my arteries. My red soul wants to meet another. My wet body wants to get out. In some places, I see my skin changing into a transparent membrane that longs to be torn open. Will the virgin's blood flow out of it? In other places, I see my skin swell and almost burst open. Drips of blood emerge from my pores. White, yellow, red, even blue blood. It is a gift, not goods to be sold. Am I a universal donor? It seems as if I want to give the world a transfusion. I love my powerlessness. It is very hard for me to wield the sword, the lance, the saber, the axe, let alone the bow and arrow. I love the power of butterflies and their instruments, the razor sharp front legs that cut like scapulars, and I love the scars they leave on my body. The lips of my wounds will pout and try to articulate something of the pleasure that goes beyond the pain and the curiosity about what is to come. I want to be a wounded man, a pelican perhaps, unselfish. I am ready to draw my wound marks on me. The penetration of my body can commence. I make myself medieval once again. I am a doctor of middle ages, like in the past, like now. I cut myself medieval once again until my liquid tissue is completely visible and it becomes a new suit of armor. Anyone who cuts themselves well will see nothing. No muscles, no glands, no organs, none of those things. Only blood.